interviews tonight, President Bush says he is sorry that Iraqi prisoners were abused and humiliated. There are more pictures of the prison experience. We'll take a closer look at the American soldiers in those pictures that have stunned the world. The U.S. gets more aggressive against the radical cleric Muqtada al-Sadr. In other news, the families that have a second child to save the first. It's the question of harvesting stem cells. And 50 years after the four-minute mile, women are catching up to men. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. A new medical treatment is raising significant ethical issues because it involves couples having babies to save the lives of their other children. Parents are using technology to guarantee that their new babies could be stem cell donors. Here's ABC's Ned Potter. Adam Nash is only three and a half, and already he has saved the life of his big sister, Molly. Molly had a fatal genetic disease. To cure her, they needed a second child with just the right genes. With doctor's help, they created several embryos, then picked one that could save Molly. That became Adam. Stem cells from his umbilical cord were given to his sister. Molly is healthier than she's ever been in her life. She's perfect. And the Chicago clinic that made it happen has now helped five other couples do the same thing, have a second child capable of saving their first. We're the white match. Five-year-old Charlie Whitaker should very soon get stem cells from his baby brother, Jamie, and that should cure him of a rare blood disorder. The boy's parents came to the U.S. from England to conceive their new son because genetic testing to pick a healthy embryo was not allowed there. Hopefully, we'll have his chemotherapy, stem cell transplant, and that will be just a normal, normal happy child. The doctors helping these families say they are confident they are doing the right thing. Looking at uh, couples who say, if we could have another baby and have that baby cure our first child of their disease, why wouldn't we want to do that? Why wouldn't anybody want to do that? But Americans are conflicted, according to polls. They ask where this might lead. Are doctors playing God, rejecting some embryos because they do not measure up? It should be a wake-up call for what kinds of protections and limits do we need to think about now um, before we're further down the pike. The Nashes say they are hardly playing God. They looked to God for help. God taught the doctors how to do this. God let it work. This is all God's work, and he's just working through us. And Molly, who otherwise might have died by now, is a healthy nine-year-old. Ned Potter, ABC News, New York.